Hey guys, welcome back. So I just went through a technical interview screening and they had about eight questions and it was gruesome. It was horrible. I, I, I mean, she was telling me like most people, if they out of the eight, if you got four or more, they will proceed on to the next portion of the interviews with the hiring manager or the hiring team. Now I can only remember what I didn't do was record the interaction, but uh, from my understanding, it was a lot of regex, um, a lot of high level, not high level, in detail of like coding in there that uh, you know I'm not familiar with. Again, you know I don't I don't do a lot of coding, but reading I could understand and comprehend some of it. And they had some scripts that they were asking you, what is the output and what does it do, right? I'm too bad I don't have any screenshots of that. But uh, some of the other questions in regards to the eight number of eight questions was, what was a golden ticket attack? And I was like, oh, I've heard of it. I couldn't explain it. So basically, it was a verbal answer. They, she showed me the, the questions and I would answer it verbally and she would record it and then pass this recording on to the hiring team or the hiring manager. And, but unfortunately, I didn't, I, didn't, I probably, I would say, if I honestly had to say that I answered it right, I probably got three. Uh, if I was really confident and knowing that I answered more than that, it would be at most four <laughs> out of the eight. So it puts me in like the borderline of possibly getting into the next stages of the interview, I think. Um, there was a firewall rule in there, and I'm, I'm vividly remembering it now. It's a firewall rule. And it was, it was kind of contradicting, right? So ICMP was allowed, right? On this firewall rule, and it was all text. There was no GUI. And it was a block for a uh, request of HTTP on port 80 and a block of HTTP on port 443. And then on the bottom of it was an allow uh, HTTP and 80. So basically it was a contradicting rule, right? So you had a block, block of block 80, block 443, and then you had your last rule. So, so which one overrides? Is the last rule? Now I'm thinking, right? So, because as I was sitting there reading it, it didn't make much sense to me. But now I'm thinking about it. Yes, and it's possibly the last rule that's in place would that take effect because the last rule was allow eighty and four four three, and the question was, will uh, uh, can you ping uh, uh, a server in Russia and can you access a website in Russia? Um, and I, I don't know if I, how I did, I, I, there's no way of me capturing it without, you know, uh, unfortunately. So that, that was my only thing, right. Uh, that I, I can vividly remember now. And also the golden ticket attack. And as I'm reading the golden ticket attack, it says this, right. A golden ticket attack is a malicious cybersecurity attack in which a threat actor attempts to gain almost unlimited access to an organization's domain devices, file, domain controller, etc., by accessing user data stored in Microsoft Active Directory. Uh, and, you know, I haven't dealt with that term in so long that, you know, I, I just, oh my goodness, it just, I, my whole mind just drew a blank. But this, this technical screening was so, so in depth that this is what I wasn't even expecting. Uh, most interviews so far, as far as technical, technicality, was you explaining what your technical experiences were, are, right? You know, whether you, you've done, you built VMs, you, you know, configured firewalls and set rules in place and, you know, uh, deploy, you know, uh, endpoint solutions or, you know, through SCCM or whatever the case is, right? Those would be your technical experience that you would literally verbally explain. But this, this test was pretty deep. Um, if I had to, you know, range it between how, how hard this was, like if my life depended on it, um, I probably wouldn't be living right now. I'm just saying guys, that's how hard this exam was. And, you know, I say it's an exam, but it was more like a screening question. And it was a, a, a eight questions that their SOC team built for the interview process to filter out who qualifies and who does not. And that's, that's what that is there to do. I was very excited. I, I just practically just finished it right now. 
and you know i decided to come on and tell you guys my experience with that so i am still sitting through interviews but this technical eight technical questions was probably in my mind right now enough to eliminate myself unfortunately uh was there anything i could have done to prepare for this if they had given advance notification on what type of material that they were going to ask maybe i could have done a refresh but the whole point of all this is that there is no you know pre studying or pre you know learning anything it was basically if you actually know this or not at the moment and you don't you do not qualify for this position uh and i'll see and i'll wait to hear back and see if anything actually comes of it but uh, in my honest opinion i probably got like probably two now and now i'm going lower i probably got three but if I was to be really overly confident, I would say, okay, I got four. But even then, I don't know if that was even uh, enough to get myself into the next uh, stages of the interview. All right. So there you go, guys. Uh, some some interview are pretty deep uh, when it comes to challenging your technical capabilities. All right, guys. So I just want you to be aware of that. And please remember to hit that like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again really soon. Bye.